my gems welcome back to my channel this is glitzy gem how's everybody doing today i hope all are well thank you for watching thank you for, for clicking on my video for those who are new to my channel please subscribe hit the notification bell right next to the subscribe button and also give my video a thumbs up because it helps out my channel i'm trying to get to 1k subscribers i do giveaways every month i will be posting a giveaway soon for this month of november and then um so far and so forth so yeah, so there's a perk for subscribing to my channel, being some great gifts. So, yeah, why not subscribe? And then you're also watching really good content. So, in this in this video today, we're going to go ahead and do an unboxing um, for October add-ons. If you're new to BoxyCharm and you do not know that BoxyCharm, when they have add-ons and pop-ups, they take them a while to ship to your home. Um, they don't, well, they take a while to ship to my home. I don't get my shipments you know all together at the same time they do like partial shipments and then that's where some of my shipments come up missing or they don't know that it's missing or that they 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 think it's been shipped but not the, co the complete shipment has been shipped so that's why you have to be careful if you if you ever do want to buy anything from their add-ons and their pop-up sales keep track of what you buy because if you don't keep track of what you buy you're gonna just lose money off of what you paid for so go ahead and keep track of what you buy and email them back if you are missing an item and they should respond to you uh within 48 hours and um give you a solution what they're going to do about it so we're going to go ahead and unbox this box here whoa it's kind of rather it's rather huge <laughs> And uh, we're going to go ahead and see what's inside this box and maybe remember what I paid for. But this is kind of like what you would get in a boxy add-on or pop-up if you're not familiar with that. If you're not familiar with, you know, that sort of stuff. Um, I'm pretty sure it's, it's just simple, basic, you know. You buy off their site and they bring it to you in a box and you just got to remember what you bought. And you get really good deals, really good pricing on these items. So, okay, so I'm seeing some items in here that I might have forgotten the price to. But uh, first item in here is Fenty. It is a brush, eyeshadow brush. It's called the Fenty by Rihanna, Fenty Beauty by Rihanna. And it is a precision blending brush. So let's open this up. Okay, so looks pretty good. So far, so good. Um, I love the detail, the color. And I love that it has like a little plastic pink protective sleeve. And it's made out of hard, well, it's not a hard plastic. It's made out of a real, um, just regular plastic here. But you can fit your brush in there to protect it from, from getting bent or... You know just from getting bent but here is how the shader looks like it's flat nice blending brush we like it and this is the number it's just called precision blending brush and they usually have numbers this is number 230 okay so that's the that's the brush, and I do believe I paid four dollars for this, four or six dollars. I think six dollars the most. Um, I bought its pair because they, they were selling another one along. They were selling another one along with. They were selling another one, another brush from Fenty Beauty. Um, the only two brushes that they were selling from Fenty Beauty. And I went ahead and I got the, the second brush because it was about the same price, four or six dollars. And I was like, that's not bad. The Fenty Beauty brushes, that's not bad. I'm not even sure if they're real animal hair or not animal hairs. I don't know if they're real hairs or they're just, um, if they're, let me see what I read. If they're a synthetic. It doesn't, it's, everything's written foreignly here, so it doesn't tell me 
if it's real hair or if it's just the synthetic brush but this is the other brush that I'm talking about that I had purchased also like I mentioned four to six dollars um, is it this is the brush 200 from Fenty and it's the all-over eyeshadow brush it's a shorter it's kind of the same packaging color um, it's just that the that the brush itself the actual brush it's also flat but it's shorter and um, it's mostly for like um, for like when you use it for on the lid outside of the corners so really um, this would be a good nice you will packing brush I guess I would say so, that's that happy with it I'm happy with what I'm, I'm seeing here and by the way I still I'm still missing some boxes so this is not the last October box that y'all be re that y'll I'll be doing an unboxing on so if I do some November unboxings before this one, we're in trouble because I had already reported to BoxyCharm. I'm still missing some items and they still haven't gotten back with me. They're saying to give them some time. They say 10 to 15 days to get from, from the day of me reporting. And I've already reported it since last month. And then they just keep opening up tickets on, on the issue. And so they're like prolonged it's like it's being prolonged this this issue is being prolonged and it's i'm getting quite tired of it already i think i mentioned that in my last video <laughs> so the next thing here in my box that i do see it's another another uh brand that's become you know one of my favorites as well um it's called the hank and henry fuego and the reason why i say it's one of my favorites is because i got their hank and henry duo um set the uh the sponge duo set the little one and the big large uh dual set did i say scent or set <laughs> i meant to say set and the quality of the sponge is really good and i also i've been liking i like their their hank and henry uh from their sixth collection lipsticks the one that looks like it's has like a glitter on the outside when you put it on it looks matte uh it doesn't have glitter those are amazing. <laughs> Those are amazing. I just, I had to buy me one um, regular price on their website because they're quite expensive. They're $20, you know, but BoxyCharm gives you like a, like a coupon code if you want to go on their website and buy uh, Hank and Henry, but that was last month. So we're in this month now and I don't think they have that coupon code anymore for the Hank and Henry to give you like, I think, I think they give you like I don't know 20% off or 25 I don't know how much they give you percentage if they if I would use that coupon for that lipstick that one lipstick that I bought that they that they were given in their base box which is the red one the shade love love -E. um, I, I would have really liked to have that had that lipstick in my box but I didn't get it so well anyways so yeah I have a love and hate relationship with boxy charm <laughs> Yes, like I didn't even get the Natasha Denona palette either. Like I wanted that Hank and Henry lips lipstick. I didn't get it in my box. I wanted the Natasha Denona palette. And I didn't get that in my box either. And um I just didn't think that was right or fair for them to not give that, that palette to everybody, you know, who subscribed to BoxyCharm. I mean if you're gonna give out a palette, you know, make sure you have enough quality for for all your all your customers you know not just the ones you want to pick and choose and say hey I'm sending this to you guys you know and um, it's not a random thing you know it's not a random thing where they ship out the, the product I'm pretty sure they had people in mind who they wanted to ship it to so it's not something out of random so so that's why I say this is one of uh, one of my um, uh, so this is another favorite brand the makeup that I've kind of like Started to starting to like a lot. This is the Fu the Fuego palette. I want to show you the the colors in this palette. 
fuego in Spanish means um, smoking, like smoking hot. It means hot. Look at those nice shades. I really like the shades in this palette. They're right up my my alley. As you can tell, I'm wearing reds right now, like red wool, like terracotta shades, um, but like a smoky eye. This you can get, make really good, nice eye looks with this. Create them, uh, create really nice eye looks, uh, smoky. Um, you know, you can create a lot of nice eye looks with this palette here. So I've kind of like fallen in love, not fallen in love, but I kind of like starting to like this brand, um, Hank and Henry, which I never heard of. And because it wasn't for Box Charm, I wouldn't have heard of them before. And I'm glad that they introduced us this brand this year. That way, um, you know, we'd get a chance to see, you know, how they perform, you know, the color story, you know, just their, their whole collection, just, just see if we like the collection. And, and, and I really like this. I'm, I, I really, really like this collection a lot. The Hank and Henry, um, brand It's starting to become one of my, like, I'm not going to say favorite, but you know, one of the ones that I like a lot. So one last look at this palette it has really nice size mirror in there. I'm going to go ahead and close it, put it back in its palette, um, cover. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and show you the next palette, also from Pink and Henry, that I kind of liked so much. You know, we were, I don't know, there was a time where, like, all the makeup brands that I've seen on my email and all the, like, the email, like, you know how sometimes the makeup brands send you emails of new um, collabs, not collabs, but new, you know how some companies, you know, beauty companies, makeup companies, they send you emails or text messages on their new, um, was their new um, launch that they've come out with or their new palette that they've come out with. And there was a time where there was a lot of companies that were into like pastel palettes. And so I had got me a couple pastel palettes from different companies. And also got me one from Hank and Henry. It's called the Sweet Tooth. And I think it's really cute. It has really cute packaging. It has sprinkles on it. Looks like a yeah, like a cupcake <laughs> sort of theme here. It has a nice light nice sized mirror. And here are the pastel colors that are inside it. So I don't know how I look in pastels, but it's worth to try and see if I can create a nice look or if I can create a look with my makeup that would um, that would actually flatter pastel colors on my skin tone I'm not sure I will try <laughs> I will try to create looks with pastel colors because that's not the only pastel palette that I have in my collection dish for this because um, we're at the end of the year so for the following year for 2021 I have some pastel eyeshadow palettes that I do want to introduce. Also some nice neons and yeah, cause we're, cause you know, after December going into the spring and summer. So I want to get ready for that. And I want to try to be on top of like the seasons and making sure that I'm, you know, creating looks with, um, the seasons colors. Like I, like I had mentioned in my old videos, I mean, you can wear, you can wear different colored, you, you can wear any, eyeshadow palette whether it be neutral toned cool cool toned or pastel like this one or bright or neon palettes you can wear those all year round you know it's just especially just like when you're in whenever you're watching YouTube a lot of um, a lot of you know viewers like to watch what's going on in the summer like what summer looks are out there so that's what so those are um, those are the main like focus uh, group people. Those are the main those are the main group of people that we want to focus on when we're doing our videos to attract the most um, to attract the most views. You know, so if you know we're in the summer, of course they're gonna want to see like some summer looks, some glowy glow, uh, some maybe self tan looks or glitter you know shimmers and stuff like that you know for the body but um 
So yeah, I'm getting ready for next year so I can start putting on content on here well, with my no buy without having to buy any more products or getting tempted to buy any more products. So I'm trying to be good. So far, I did have a little slip, but it's like, you know, it was it was a ColourPop Menage Moi, you know, collection. I didn't buy the collection. I just bought the palettes and the and the blushes because that's I said I'm not gonna buy the whole seventy dollar collection. I was gonna buy the palettes because I really like the shades that are in those palettes. And coming from ColourPop, I had not seen those shades before in their color stories. Um, maybe I might have, maybe might you might not have, but it's the Menage et Moi, Menage à Moi, or Menage et Moi, or something like that. Um, that's the name of the collection. You know, leave your comments down below. Let me know what y'all think of that ColourPop uh, collection. Do y'all like it? Is it something new that ColourPop has come out with? Like the, I think the Boudoir Noir one is the one that I was talking about that I see colors in there that I have not seen in previous palettes. But if if y'all do know palettes that from ColourPop that they have came out with the same color story, let me know. I just haven't seen the same color story as that one. But um, as far as the other one goes, the um, the menage the the menage moi, I think that's what it's called. I could be mistaken, but the menage moi, I think that one is the one that has more of like the berry toned, um, more of the burgundy berry toned shades. I know we've seen a lot of uh, I know we've seen a lot of palettes like in the berry shade in the berry toned shades, like the whatever palette the. Um, what other palettes did we see? The um, the one with the peacocks, the feather, the birdie, the birdie palette, you know. So there might be some shades in there that, that you know, we might have seen in the past, but, uh, or there could be different, you know, different formulas, you know. So that's why I got it, because I, I, I felt like, I think it's, it, there is a difference in the collection for that Menage Moi. There's a difference in that collection you know, from all the other palettes, because I think they have like the, um, like there's a sequin color in there that I have not seen before in ColourPop, so I went ahead and got it. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys that palette as well in 2021, if not in 2021, then 2022, because I do have quite a quite a bit of collection that I've collected throughout the years that, um, you know, which kind of now I'm on a no buy, so I'm just gonna start showcasing a lot of these brands that I have in my collection so stay tuned for that so if you haven't subscribed subscribe now that way you'll get in on on this um you'll get in you'll get in on these um on this content you know where you do see me try out those palettes you know so that's just the tip of the iceberg of what I have <laughs> so let's let's move on with this unboxing um there is Quite a few stuff in here. Uh, the next thing I hear, the next thing I hear, the next thing here, I forgot to mention these palettes costed me like um, I didn't pay more than nine dollars for these palettes. I didn't pay more than nine dollars. It was either nine dollars or anywhere nine dollars to eight or six dollars somewhere around there. So I really got a really good. That's why I got two because I got a really good deal. I said, ooh, nine dollars, six dollars for these palettes. These are these are expensive palettes, you know, from Hank and Henry. The next thing I have here is the yoga, the somatology yoga balancing calming lotion with chamomile green mastitha helps to line the mind, body, and spirit. Um, I'm not sure about all that, you know, because it says yoga, you know, you know, they, they they're all about like them, you know, being aligned with their mind, body, and spirit. But um, I'm not into that kind of stuff, you know. I'm not into that sort of uh, practice or whatever you you want to say. Um, let me see if it has a nice smell to it. Um, it. It looks like this. It's pretty big. Uh, it's eight fluid ounces. Okay, it does have a botanical a, a botanical smell. Uh, it's a calming lotion. I got these. I got this because I had I've been going through a lot of like. Like really tough times, really stressful times, and I felt like, you know, I'm starting to buy lotion, lotions. I'm starting to buy, yeah, lotions. I'm starting to buy lotions that will 
kind of relax me. Maybe they're set my be relaxing when I apply them on me. I haven't done that yet, you know, for the simple fact that I just kind of have like, I'm kind of skeptical in a way, but I'm like, at the same time, I'm like, well, let me try them. So I, I get them, but I never use them. And now it's time for me to use them. It's time for me to use them. Or if not, I'll just give them away. I'll just do like a little giveaway. The next thing in here, and like I said, I probably paid only $6 for this. 6 or $4. The next item in this box. Oh, my God. Alamar. I'm like, oh, my God. I've been trying so hard to get some Alamar cosmetic brushes. And they're always sold out. And I got them for a really good price. Um, these, like, they're Ojitos. The, the Ojitos palette. The Ojitos palette. Like their Ojitos um, Volume 1, they had it on uh, on their add-ons for November. I bought me one. So I haven't received it yet, but I bought me I bought them for November pop-up. And they were only like 3 or $4. And I think I got these for also like $6, if I'm not mistaken. These are the face brushes. And um, I've been, and they've been like, they've been... I've been wanting to get these like every time when they have their, their boxycharm add-ons throughout the year when I when I you know since since March they would have their add-ons and pop-ups these these would always be sold out and by chance this uh, October not this month but in October they happen I happened to be able to snatch some and boxycharm happened to send them to me they probably made a mistake and sent them to me and and uh you know, I say that because, you know, I feel like BoxyCharm doesn't send me everything. Well, they don't send me everything. And when they do, it's either broken or they'll tell me they have to refund me because they, they're out of stock. But I'm surprised they weren't out of stock of this, you know, because these are always out of stock. And I can't remember how much I paid for these. Um, I think I paid $6, maybe $6. I don't remember. But... Yeah, nice brush set. Alamar. The next thing I got in here, um, I got this. I got so um, I got this here, the Clarence Smoothing uh, Perfector Instant Smooth um, Perfecting Touch Cream. I already have one, and I tried it, and it was pretty good. It felt silicone as a primer when I when I applied it on my face before putting on my foundation. But I'm a sucker for for uh, for primers. So it, this is the the jar it comes in, and this is the the boomerang spatula that it comes in. It comes in that we don't have to use your, your finger. You can use the spatula, which is a really good neat idea on their on uh, Clarence part because that's the name brand is Clarence, and um, putting that in there. But um, yeah, I'm a sucker for these, and it's Clarence brand. So I think I don't remember how much I paid for this. I, I can't remember. Um, I don't want to lie and say that I paid six dollars and maybe I probably paid twelve. I don't know. I don't want to lie, <laughs> so I can't remember how much I paid for them. For for it, not for them, but for it. I don't remember how much I paid for it. Um, then I have this Thank Me Later eyeshadow primer. I have another. I have one of these already. Um, I have not used. So here's another one, just in case. Just is just a backup. And um, I had watched it in one of my last not my previous videos but in like in an add-on video for like I think the month of April or May maybe July yeah I think it was in the month of July I had I had a, a box that already had this primer and it's by Elizabeth Mott and Elizabeth Mott has a really good um has a really good brand of uh has a really good brand Elizabeth Mott has a really good collection of makeup so um I'm happy to to grab one of her eye her other eyeshadow primers and the fact that they were on sale as well. I really liked it a lot. Um, I think I got it for like three dollars, four dollars. Yeah, so three or four dollars for this it was not bad. It's like, yep, I'm gonna snatch it up. I already liked. I already liked the texture of it because whenever, I, like I mentioned, you know, I had swatched it in one of my other videos and I liked the way it felt and it was really nice and smooth and it wasn't watery or you know it was it wasn't watery. So the next thing here is Juice Beauty. I'm trying to build a collection of Juice Beauty, and they mostly have like a lot of skincare, um, skincare products. They really don't have makeup, 
too much. They have mostly skincare, and if they do have makeup, it's either like lipstick. But even the lipstick also has like a purpose, either it's like a lipstick treatment or it's like a lipstick gloss that you know helps treat your lips in you dry lips. This is a um, luminous lip crayon, uh, phyto pigment, juicy, juicy, juice beauty, the organic solution. And this is in the shade Montara number 36. And um, I got it because I just felt, I feel so sorry for this company because they keep showing the same shade over and over. This is the shade they keep showing on their site. And it's like a burgundy, berry toned shade. And um, so, and they're all about trying to create Oh, creating makeup without having to use, um, just creating makeup using like product based, like plant based, you know, plant based, um, sciences. So that's what they're, that's what they're all about is their phyto pigments. And, um, so yeah, so I kind of feel bad for them because they really don't have too much of a selection to choose from. Like, BoxyCharm doesn't have too much of a selection of a photo, I mean a photo, of Juice Beauty. Because, I don't know, the, what I do see on their websites when they do sell them, they're either skincare products and then maybe just some, lip, some lipstick products. I haven't seen an eyeshadow palette from them. I haven't seen a primer. Um, so, I don't know. Uh, Juice Beauty hasn't really been very popular with BoxyCharm. And also got the Juice Beauty. So I'm trying to build a collection, even though it's skincare, because I am doing a skincare regimen. It's a Juice Beauty um, Hydrating Mist. Let's see how that smells. Okay. Oh, it smells good. Okay. It it does have a, like, like, like the, you know how they have a, okay. So it does have a, like a botanical smell, but the botanical smell is like a very small percentage from what it what it strongly smells of rose, roses. Oh, I love that smell. I love roses. Roses, roses is one of my favorite scents. So I do like this hydrating mist. So I squirt some. Oh, should I squirt some more, please? It's a hydrating mist. So I don't think it sets. It says here it's a uh, formulated with certified organic ingredients toned with this refreshing blend of rose hips. Tone it says with this refreshing blend of rose hips. So I I did have this scent down. This smell like roses. Uh ylang ylang uh resveratrol rich grapeseed oil and antioxidant rich organic botanical told you it has some botanical scent to it but it has more of a rose rosy scent to it than the botanical smell uh juices for a fresh radiant complexion so is this a toner this mist lightly on freshly cleansed skin throughout the day for exhilarating refreshment so i cannot put them on now because i i have makeup on so this is when you you apply this after you cleanse your skin it is a toner it is a toner and it says here and then also throughout the day for exhilarating refreshment so I'm not sure if you can if you should apply it while you're wearing, wearing makeup or when you're not wearing makeup it doesn't specify it just says just first apply it freshly on cleansed skin and then throughout the day for exhilarating refreshment so throughout the day I mean you could be wearing makeup throughout the day so they won't they weren't very clear on you know when to use this or when not to use it so i mean they were clear like to use it throughout the day but they weren't clear on like like on just on cleanse skin itself or on on or on me on or, can't even speak tonight or on just or on or on skin that already has makeup on. The next product in my box here is the Baddington 
fresh set. I already have a set like this. And they were going for very expensive, like, I think in the hundreds. I think they were like a hundred and something. There's two brushes here. One is a powder brush, one is a contour foundation brush. I don't think I would use this for a foundation brush because the bristles are really soft. And, um, I don't know. It just feels more like a brush you would wear for, like, powders. That's how soft the bristles are. Like this one definitely is like a powder brush. But um, maybe you can use this for like foundation. Maybe I, because, because it's pretty short. You know, the brush tip is pretty short. So I think I probably could use it for foundation. It's really soft. I really like the bristles. And they were like $3. This was like $3. Like it went down from like 100 to like $3. They weren't $12. They weren't. I think they were like the most maybe probably would have been four dollars or six but like i said that was the most that they had went on the website for these baddington um brush sets and they went they were like a hundred and something dollars when they were putting it in our boxes when they when they um valued valued the products in our boxes now the next thing in here is the kosas contra chroma palette it's a powder blush and highlighter so I wonder what color this is. I thought I got all the colors from the Kosas. So this is the box that it comes in. Okay. And this is the packaging. Okay, opened it up. It has a nice a nice mirror. And okay, this is the um I don't know if you saw the papaya one 1972. This is probably the high intensity one from that. It's just called Chroma. I'm sorry, it's called a Contra Chroma. So this is more of like a high intensity one than the Papaya 1972. So it doesn't say high intensity either. So but I know it's darker than that one, than the Papaya 1972. Kosas blush. Okay, and like I said, I think I paid $9 for this. Or less I'm not sure <laughs> the next thing in here is the Luna Baluna this is my second one I already have one already in my collection so um, this is my backup this I mean this is like a really nice gloss for my skin tone it really flatters my skin tone it comes on like a, a lip gloss but it also gives you like a tint like the way my, lip, the way my lips look now that's the kind of tint that this would give you, even though it's a lip gloss. It's not a matte lipstick or anything. It's not a, it's not a uh, liquid lipstick either. It's a lip gloss, but that's how pigmented and tinted it it would leave your lips. And I love I love the shade because it's it gives me like a natural shade. It's not what I'm wearing now, but it gives you like a natural shade look on your lip, like for my skin tone. So and um, this was only like three or four dollars you know the next thing in here I have is the uni I never heard of this brand uni have y'all heard of this brand if you have let me know comment me down below on any of these products let me know if you heard of any of these products that uh, um if you haven't heard of any of them y'all let me know okay so let me know on the Cuccio somatology yoga calming lotion let me know what y'all think about this if y'all have it. Let me know how y'all feel about that. Um, you have Juice Beauty. Also, I want to know about Juice Beauty. Give me all the tea on the Juice Beauty if you have Juice Beauty. And then the Uni. This is another product that BoxyCharm. This is one of like something that wasn't very popular in their variations and their box variations. They did give it to some people in their boxes, but not to everyone. So there was a few people who got this product. Is this count to Zen is a rejuvenating hand and body cream, moisturizes and softens with organic bobob seed. So it's a hand and body cream, just what I need. But um, it's open too. There's no seal, and, it, and like all the other ones, it has a. Have you smelled the Johnson the Johnson and Johnson? Um, baby lotion, the pink one, 
this is how it smells like with the little hint of like botanical a botanical scent but mostly you can you can smell the botanical or the citrus I think it's either citrus or botanical scent mixed together with that um, if I'm not hold on. what the heck let me just apply it on my skin and let y'all know it did smell like the lotion the baby Johnson & Johnson baby lotion at first but now applying it on my skin you see you smell you smell more of the botanical scent and it smells more of like the um, what is that one the levito the levito brand if you're familiar with that brand you know what I'm talking about that scent that kind of is smells kind of like a more mature scent and it does smell more more of like a like it has like a plant kind of like botanical essential oil scent to it definitely yeah has that botanical scent to it well let me see how it does for my arm because i know my arms have been itching from how cold it has been here in houston i mean it hasn't been that cold but with the weather change my skin had become really dry and itchy so it feels good it kind of felt good i mean i'd have to tolerate the scent but i mean if it works it works i'm gonna use it. i'm gonna do whatever i can to use a product that's going to help me out you know so the next thing i have here is a superfood it's a superfood 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 by elemis it's a superfood glow booster pumpkin glow concentrate for all skin types i forgot to mention i think i paid for this uni one i think four dollars maybe and then the elemis superfood glow booster maybe a little more than that maybe nine dollars i don't know defined by net defined by nature led by science this ferment infused glow boost why do, I, why do i want to say booster this glow booster is a biphase concentrate loaded with a powerful superfood blend of pumpkin and acerola shake well and pack two to three drops onto cleanse skin contact with eyes occurs rinse thoroughly keep out of the, the direct sunlight Due to natural ingredients, uh, color variations may occur. Okay, sounds like it doesn't have a J in it, but it says to keep out of direct sunlight. Maybe the product, maybe it meant to keep the product away from direct sunlight. But it's a superfood, so you can use this in your skin regimen. Here it is. Ooh, I think. I Here it is. Here's the superfood. And I think it's water and oil because they're not, they're not mixing. They're not wanting to mix together. I try to get them to mix together, but it seems like the oils seem to go to the top, and they make look like little crystals, little. But they're actually bubbles. Can y'all see that? Can y'all see that? Is the Element Superfood Glow Booster? So, I can't wait to use this. Can't wait to use it. The next thing I have here is a uh, Luxie brush. I had already showed you one of these in one of my other boxes, and I think I'm gonna give these like do these like in a giveaway because I have quite a bit of Luxie brushes kind of like in the same type of um they're like petite brushes like that for the eyes which is really good because they they would get in there like i mean they're small enough to where they're they can be very detailed to your to your for your eyeshadows and so i think this would be a perfect set for whenever you're wanting to do like nice smoky eye when you want to do some cut creases really nice detailed brushes so maybe given these in a giveaway i have a bought two so i'm debating whether if i should keep a set or not so we'll see we will see all right and i paid i think four dollars for this the next thing in here which was something that i wanted to get in my box 
it was like kind of like I did and I didn't want to get it in my box. I didn't get it in my box. I was like, I'll just go ahead and get it on the pop up. It's the Milk Makeup Joe Eye Patches because I'm like into like, you know, I get bags under my eyes. Right now, like my bags have gotten a little better throughout uh, my skin regimen and uh, maybe getting more sleep, I guess. They've gotten a little better. I mean, I still get bags under my eyes or puffiness. I still get puffiness under my eyes. But um, supposedly these gel masks, these cooling water eye patches. It says chill out your tired under eyes with cooling deep puffing gel patches packed with caffeine and seawater. So I will be testing these out and see how they, they perform. Plus they were they were on sale. Of course everything's on sale. On their add on their pop ups, but they were on sale for like six dollars, I think, or less than that, six or four dollars for these patches. So that's the reason why I got them. Last but not least, something I had to get because it's a collection that I had started already. It's a small collection, but I think it's enough for me to just you know make like a almost like a full face or semi full face, um, maybe wear test on this brand from Iconic Linden. The only thing is that I, I got this off of BoxyCharm. And I guess I think I paid like $12 for this or less. Um, it's just that some of them say that they're made in China. This one doesn't. This one says made in England, which is, got, which is good because anything that doesn't say made in China, I'm for. You know, any, any makeup product that says not made in China that's high end like this, Iconic Linden, gives me like the reassurance that it's not made in another country it's made in england so i trust that this will give me the true um pigmentation i will need as a palette i got the powder powder contour palette yeah here you go don't be jealous ladies got the contour palette from Iconic London, but the mirror looks like it's going to fall out. Yep, the mirror fell out. The mirror is loose. The mirror is loose in here, but that's all right because it's not broken and I would be careful with it. And it even tells you what to do. Like it tells you smooth and brighten, tighten and tone, correct and perfect, shape and shade. Sculpt and define, highlight and lift. So, all in one, ladies. All in one here. So, that's why I got it. I was like, okay, let me, let me, let me try that. It's my Iconic and it's made in London. So, I think I got the original. I don't know. I think anything that doesn't say made in China, I think it's just the original. <laughs> the way it's supposed to be. Um, so, I think I paid like, I already mentioned, like maybe not more than $12.00 for that so thank you my gems thank you for watching um please subscribe if you haven't done so before you click on to the next video you want to watch um please go ahead and subscribe give me a, give my video a thumbs up and click on that bell icon so thank you my gems y'all have a good day have a good night morning whichever part of the day you're at or whichever part of the day you're watching this video have a good day. Thank you, my gems. Bye. I love you all. Take care. Stay safe.